carbons. When I say allylic substitution, that means the hydrogen of the allylic carbon will be replaced by the halogen. As we can see, allylic carbon will be sp3 hybridized. Therefore, again, we can say that this type of a substitution will follow free radical substitution only. Let us see an example also. Before that, first of all, let me tell you what is the reagent for the allylic substitution. Basically, at the allylic substitution, either chloro or bromo can come. That means we can have allylic substitution for the bromine or for the chlorine. Suppose you heat alkene in the presence of Br2 or Cl2 that is bromine molecule or a chlorine molecule at 773 Kelvin. Then the product formed will be the halogen at the allylic position in the alkene will replace one of the hydrogen. Let us see an example also now. Suppose we have a alkene CH3 CH double bond CH2. Now in this, the CH3 carbon is an allylic carbon. So if you add Cl2 or Br2 at 773 Kelvin, then the product formed will be where X can be either Cl or Br. So the product will be CH2 X CH double bond CH2. Next method for the allylic substitution we can have is but mind you this is only for the bromine not for chlorine. Now suppose again we have a same alkene that is CH3 CH double bond CH2 and you add NBS which is known as N bromosuccinamide the structure of this reagent is this. Now what will happen the Br in the N bromosuccinamide will be replaced by the hydrogen in the alkene at the allylic position. So the product form will be CH2Br single bond CH double bond CH2. Basically we do have NCS also which means N chlorosuccinamide but the yield by the chloro at the allylic position is not that good. That is why I told you this is only for the substitution by bromine at allylic position. And once the allylic hydrogen of the alkene is replaced by the Br of the NBS, then what happens? The H goes to the NBS and the byproduct formed is succinamide, whose structure is this. And with this, we complete the method of preparation of Rx using alkenes. Coming to the next method of preparation of haloalkenes, that is using alcohols. Now, using alcohols, when we prepare haloalkenes, that is Rx, it follows nucleophilic substitution reaction. You can clearly see again in the layout of the reaction mechanism that alcohols shows two types of reactions. One is nucleophilic substitution reaction and second we have is the elimination reaction. Basically elimination reaction always leads to formation of alkenes. So that means over here alcohols will undergo only nucleophilic substitution. 